Wow. Man, welcome to Music at St. Mary's, our concert series this year. And I am the pleasure, have the pleasure of introducing a great man, a great conductor, and a great cellist. And that is Luis Biava. And he will be here with his group on November 21st, which I think is Christ the King Sunday, and at four o'clock, and they're doing some great things. So uh, Luis, thank you for being here today. Thanks, and Mark. just a little teaser. So um, what was that piece you just played? It's the Aleman from the first suite of uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, the, the great king of music. Love it, love it, love it. Well, tell us a little about what you're going to bring here on the 21st for us. Well, we're so excited and thank you so much for the, for the invite. And, We've known each other for quite a long time. 30 years. And uh, yes, we're very, very happy to be playing. It's, the group is called Camarada. It's actually been around for a long time. I think we talked about this, how, how we uh, sort of set it up in, uh, in Spoleto, Italy, with, with my friends. Uh, wow. Who's playing Chris Sayetti, uh, Ola Vero, uh, Robert Furman, uh, now my wife, uh, Ariane Sletner. They're, they're both uh, Robert and, and Ariane are, are dual concert masters. But uh, we've, we've had the idea of playing a group together uh, for many, many years. And uh, we have done various types of concerts. It's sort of an accordion situation, anything from the solo to a duo, trio, quartet, on and on, and to chamber, orchestra, ensemble, too. We've done uh, things, uh, Pulcinella, we've done the Siegfried Idol, we've done uh, concerts at the WSU. So it's, it's an ongoing thing that's been going on, and we get together whenever we can, and, and here we are again. Well, you know, it's a real honor to be able to have you the third up in our series. You actually are going, I think, be the hit of the fall here. And I, and I have so many people already, already talking about it. And so we're inviting everybody uh, to get the word out. And we just uh, uh, can't say enough thank yous. Uh, you have worked very hard over the years, 30 years ago. Uh, Luis played for me at a, a midnight mass at St. Joan of Arc in Powell's, how we met, and I was uh, a green behind the ears trying to conduct, and now uh, all of his uh, uh, success, and it's just a beautiful thing that two friends can come together and to bring beautiful music to this community. Uh, on, I think that Sunday, we have uh, Christopher Purdy from uh, WSU 101. He'll do a pre-concert lecture. I think starting at 3.30, quarter till. So he kind of gives you the history of the songs and, and what you're about to hear. Anything else, Luis, you'd like to say? Well, just the, the, the program itself, uh, we're so happy to start uh, the concert with a piece by Augusta Reed Thomas, a good friend of my father and mother, and we know her as well. Uh, she's, she's played, uh, she did, we did the second performance of her Jubilee at, at uh, New Albany Symphony. So we're really proud of, of her work. And we also did a, a master class with uh, Sun Threads. And, uh, and you know, we played for, for her at her music and featured her music. So to bring this back, the Prayer and Celebration, a beautiful uh, evocative piece uh, in, in, the, in the mood of the Barbara Adagio is what she says. So we start with that and then we go on to, uh, since the program is called St. George, Past and Present, we will go to Mozart, the, Mo the Mozart First Symphony, Love which is it. where we're Love doing St. George First Symphony and Mozart First, kind of a lot of firsts, and uh, which, um, which, which, which is what the next piece is. And then we go to the Brandenburg uh, Third. Which is yeah. one of my favorites. Yes, and uh, <laughs> with, with Suzanne, uh, she's part of our trio, Camarada Trio. It's a trio, we call it Camarada Trio as well. And uh, uh, she'll be playing the harpsichord. And then we move on to, to the Elgar Serenade, uh, well, right before that, we do the air, the air, the yes, Bach air, which is a beautiful, also piece. beautiful, even though it's part of the whole suite, which we'll hopefully do one of these days. And then we go on to the Elgar uh, Serenade for strings, uh, very much good old, you know, the the, uh, the beautiful piece by by Edward Elgar, and the story goes, and I think Christopher will probably relate it that that his wife helped a, a little bit on those tunes, you know, she, he calls them tunes and stuff, so so that was a, a nice little story. And then we do, since it's a, uh, a um, Piazzolla year, we're going to do Libertango so, uh, for the strings. And uh, we'll be adding, uh, for the last piece, of course, we're going to finish with the San George uh, Joseph Bologna, the first symphony uh, with two oboes and two horns. And so the great, great uh, you know, composer who, who, who actually did make it. You know? So we're finishing with his, his great piece, a great, 
fast uh, movements in, in, in greater dodge. And it'll be wonderful at St. Mary's. The acoustics are just made for this kind of music. And, you know, Luis, for those who don't know, you know he's the principal cellist of Columbus Symphony Orchestra, plus the conductor, music director at New Albany uh, Symphony Orchestra. And he's done some fabulous things over the years, not only in Franklin County here in Columbus, but all over the world. And we are just grateful that he is here with us and we just thank you and we hope that you get the word out and family affair. Kids uh, could be very educated and to bring classical music into their hearts, especially kicking off the holiday season with uh, Thanksgiving coming up and, and Christmas and the holidays. So uh, Luis, you wanna play a little bit to, to, to sure. exit here? I'll do a little bit of the Saraband uh, from the, the um, first suite as well. <laughs> 